coming up on Hoosier Sports Night. Women's basketball gets back on track with a big win over Stanford on Sunday. And the quest for nine is officially underway. Men's soccer begins postseason play on Sunday. This is Hoosier Sports Night. Hello and welcome to Hoosier Sports Night. I'm Josie Broyles. And I'm Sam Heiser. Sam, huge win for women's basketball on Sunday. Yeah, Terry Morin really locked it down, got that defense moving, got to ride the train right now. We really saw Chloe Moore McNeil on fire this past weekend. And speaking of women's basketball, they bounced back from two losses with a 79-66 win over number 24 Stanford. Our Kelsey Dennehy has more. Indiana women's basketball pulled off a convincing 79-66 win against number 24 Stanford this afternoon in Assembly Hall. We wanted to win. Losing sucks and we just wanted to win. Like everybody on the team wanted to do everything in their ability to win this game, to come with good energy. One thing that I've I continue to say is as long as you have players that are in that locker room that want to fix it, it matters to them, you have a chance. And, um, you know, maybe that was part of the motivation. Despite their past two starts, the Hoosiers held the Cardinals to single digits in the second quarter for Stanford's first time all year. We just ask them to be physical. Um, we ask them to stay connected. We ask them um, to, to be aggressive. I think just talking with each other and letting, um, reminding everybody what Indiana basketball is about and that we are um, blue collar working and staying connected with one another. Once Indiana's shots started to fall, they didn't stop. Yarden Garzone's 18 point performance going four for seven from three brought a sense of familiarity and energy to the floor in a game that the Hoosiers needed to have. I feel like I'm always confident about my shots. I'm, rep, I'm taking a lot of reps in practice, individual workouts. I know the coaches trust me and believe in me and my shots. So every time I see the basket, I feel confident to shoot it. We've seen Yarden hit so many big shots for us. And so, um, you know, that wasn't, um, you know, surprising. But again, it's just reminding them that all of those are going to go on in, you know. Um, we're going to keep continue to hit shots. We've got to continue to be aggressive and um, you know, try to put our, our teammates in the best possible situation to get great shots. Indiana heads to the Bahamas for a pre-Thanksgiving showdown against Columbia on Saturday at 4 p.m. From Assembly Hall, I'm Kelsey Dennehy, IUS TV Sports. The Hoosiers will travel to the Bahamas for a pre-Thanksgiving date with Columbia at 4 p.m. on Saturday. The Indiana men's soccer team earned their 24th national seed and is headed to their 38th consecutive NCAA tournament. This is the Hoosiers' 10th national seed in the last 11 seasons. Despite their 2-3 and 4 start to the season, Todd Yagley's squad found a way to turn their season around and continue their streak. The committee has put, you know, they've rewarded our program when it's maybe tight and uh, we've been able to deliver. So, you know, our charge is we got to keep, keep giving them a good reason to make sure if it's close. You, uh, you know, and I love that, you know, they introduced us on the broadcast as Title Town. And that's what you love to hear. And that, that brought a smile to my face. The Title Town Hoosiers are 14 seed and will host the winner of Akron and Princeton in Bloomington on Sunday. The Indiana volleyball team lost in straight sets to number two Nebraska this past Saturday. In front of a hostile Lincoln crowd, the Hoosiers couldn't get much of anything going offensively. They dealt with some untimely injuries and ultimately ended up posing little threat to one of the Big Ten's best teams. Despite Avery Tatum's eight kills and Candy Alonzo Corcellis' seven, it was not good enough. The Cornhuskers were able to take care of business and send Indiana home in defeat. The Hoosiers will look to get back, back on track and stay in contention as the regular season winds to a close when they face new conference for UCLA on Friday at 7 p.m. at Wilkinson Hall. Coming up after the break, we crown this week's Hoosier Highlight Athlete of the Week. And men's basketball took down South Carolina in their first true non-conference test. Welcome back to Hoosier Sports Night. Joining us in the studio for this week's Hoosier Highlight is IUSC sports reporter Nathan Schreiberg. Nathan? Thanks, guys. The Indiana men's basketball team is 3-0. 
and a lot of that is due to this week's Hoosier highlight, Miles Rice. After a slow start to the season, Rice broke out against South Carolina, pouring in 23 points while dishing out three assists and four rebounds. Coming off a season where he shot 27.5% from three at Washington State, Rice knocked down three out of four shots from beyond the arc and ignited the Assembly Hall crowd with an incredible half-court lob that was finished off by fellow transfer Kane and Carlisle. After rounding out the week against UNC Greensboro, he'll look to keep his newfound shooting stroke going as the Hoosiers take on Louisville on Wednesday in the first round of the Battle for Atlantis. That's it for this week's Hoosier Highlight Athlete of the Week. Now back to you at the desk. Thanks, Nathan. And for more on Indiana's win against South Carolina, our Riley Woodall has the recap. Determination and perseverance were the name of the game for Indiana men's basketball tonight as the Hoosiers secured an ugly but hard-fought win over South Carolina. We scored 87 points, and I don't really know how we got there because I just didn't think we played good offense tonight, even though we made shots from the three-point line. So I got to help us get better in that regard. Despite the fact that Mike Woodson felt his team left something to be desired in the 87-71 victory, the headman is confident about the Hoosiers' depth, particularly in the backcourt. I've learned a valuable lesson from, you know, last season. This team is not predicated on one guy now. You know, we have enough guys that can put the ball in the hole if they play the right way and play unselfish. I think that's just the beauty about our team. You know, you kind of have three different guards kind of that can do kind of everything, like Trey's a Swiss Army knife. Uh, Kane is more of a combo guard. You know, myself, I, you know, I can do it. I'll be a combo as well. But, like, I think we all feed off each other really well, and I think that's just a credit to not only just us, but our teammates as well. That quality depth was on full display tonight against the Gamecocks, headlined by Miles Rice, who led the game with 23 points. Rice says he's thankful it was his day. If, if it's my night, it's my night. If it's somebody else's night, it's somebody else's night. Just I was, thank God, you know, it was my night tonight. And I just went out there, executed, and capitalized on the opportunities that I had. Indiana has four days off before it hosts UNC Greensboro on Thursday, the Hoosiers' last tune-up before the Battle for Atlantis tournament. From Assembly Hall, Riley Woodall, IUS TV Sports. The Hoosiers head to Atlantis next and will face Louisville in the first round of the Battle for Atlantis tournament. Indiana Cross Country traveled to Norton, Ohio for the NCAA Great Lakes Regional Championship. The women's team were led by the Great Lakes All-Region performer, Mariah Worley, who finished 19th. She was followed by teammate Lily Myers, who had a time of 20.47.4. Switching over to the men's team, Abe Ekman finished 12th, moving up nine spots in his final lap. Skyler Stidman crossed the finish line in 21st and earned All-Region along with Ekman. The men's team finished in 7th place, while the women's team earned 9th to finish off their 2024 season. Joining us now in studio with the Candy Stripe calendar is sports reporter Gigi Welp. Gigi? Thanks guys. Despite Thanksgiving coming up in only 8 days, Indiana still has a very busy week ahead. On Friday, the UCLA women's volleyball team will come to Wilkinson Hall in Bloomington to compete with the Hoosiers. On Saturday, Kurt Signetti's 10-0 Hoosiers football team will head to Columbus, Ohio for their biggest test of the season against Ohio State. Also on Saturday, women's basketball will be in the Bahamas to play against Columbia University. And rounding out the weekend for IU Athletics, on Sunday, Indiana men's soccer will host the second round of the NCAA tournament at Bill Armstrong Stadium. The Hoosiers will play the winner of the Princeton vs. Akron game. And lastly, on Sunday, the Indiana women's volleyball team will travel to Columbus, Ohio to face off against Ohio State. That's all I've got for this week's Candy Stripe calendar. Back to you guys at the desk. And that's our show for the week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at IUSTV Sports to keep up with all the latest in IU athletics. For our production crew behind us, I'm Sam Heiser. And I'm Josie Broyles. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching IUS TV Sports. Be sure to subscribe at IUS TV and follow us on Instagram and X at IUS TV Sports.